suggesting that it'll be back in a second, but <laughs> it, it's not there to be back. We'll see. When, uh, hopefully, it'll be... Oh, and it's live already. Perfect. Well done. Thanks, Ty. Saving my bacon. Uh, well, we talk about Kyoshin updates and bugs you should know. All right. Well, thanks, Dem, saying he could refresh the stream if you... It doesn't mean you count. Uh, thank you. Sorry for my incompetence. I probably should have got this all sorted out earlier. It's just I was in the middle of editing a video about these changes, and then time went past me. I was, like, making side-by-side -side comparisons of things, and um, and it looks pretty cool. I'm quite happy with it. And then I realized, oh, crap, it's almost 11 o'clock. Dojo <laughs> um, <laughs> starting in any second. All right. So, yeah, as we'll do, we'll go through... Um, Thanks, everybody, for being patient with me. Uh, we'll go through the changes, and then we'll discuss the implications of those changes, and then we will um, move on from that to uh, bugs you should know about. Okay, so first thing in the list is the Calistance, um re uh, recovery cancels are faster. They used to be apparently 266 or 366 from heavies. And, and lights, respectively, lights from heavy and respectively, and now they are faster. So you can go into Kazakhstan a lot faster in chain and after missing attacks. So the increase in speed seems to, well, I guess, increase in speed, decrease in time. They are 166 MS faster to go into your Kazakhstan cancels. The next thing is that the chain links are 200 MS instead of. 366 ms they said it was, again was 266 from lights but that wasn't it was all 366 ms but basically your lights are you're changing from light into heavy and heavy into light um it's all much faster and much smoother and you will notice this within moments of playing the hero he just feels less like he's like full of gunk um again this is a 166 ms improvement speed so it's almost it's gone from almost 400 ms to 200 ms links. It's basically twice as, twice as fast. It feels way better to use. Um, next thing, Arawashi now moves forward two meters, which is this is the chain bash. It used to have exceedingly bad range, and now it's got, you know, all right range. You can backstep light, and it will catch people if you if they're not walking backwards. Yeah. Whereas before that would have whiffed straight away. Like now. <laughs> Look, I should count that on location if, ain't, if you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't realize what you were doing for a moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just wanted to show the fact that you could back supply and. Uh, oh, there. I see. Yeah. Because that's the thing you couldn't do. Yes. Previously, your back step, your bash would miss after a back step light, but now it goes a lot forward. It's basically double the range of it, which is not nicer. The next thing is the the light follow up attack from that can be target swapped. Um, we'll need a third person to demonstrate that, but we can move on to that in a bit. Um, next thing, the the uh, Tengu Kase, which is the unblockable top heavy from the stance, now is more difficult to dodge. So this basically they reduce the dodge window for this. You can if they early dodge it will. You'll get caught by the unblockable. So we'll do we'll do a quick demonstration of that. Um, basically, just dodge as soon as you see me do a thing. Yeah, I'm dodging right there. Dodging too maybe late I'll, for this. Maybe I'll, I'll do it. I'll I'll do it off a, a light instead, and you can just. Uh, there you go. Yeah, if you early dodge in chain, that will hit you, um, which means that you no longer can early dodge it. And well, obviously. <sighs> Previously, that would um, you'd be able to early dodge, and the uh, faint to guard break would be counterable. But now, if you early if you dodge that early, the unblockable will hit you. So you know, you know, there now is no longer a timing where you can dodge both, uh, dodge early and avoid the faint to guard break. So that's nice. Um, next thing after that, Fujin cuts, which are the three light attacks that he does after any Fujin stance attacks. Only costs three stamina now. So instead of costing eighteen stamina to do ten damage, it's now nine stamina to go to do ten damage. You, if you put your health on regen and tell, then we can see the damage values as well. 
So yeah. Um, so that's it. Going to make it a lot nicer to you. Uh, you won't go out of stamina after landing one of these things quite as quite as easily. As you can also see from the damage logs, the the side light from Cade Stance is also eight damage. It was twelve damage. Now it is the same whether you full block attack or whether you just um, just throw the light from the wall. So if you give me an attack, sir, full block. So it's still eight damage. So basically the same damage as it was beforehand. Um, interesting. Is this is the stamina not? Oh, no, it's just counting as the 31. That's why. Um, can you throw a heavy again for me? Yeah, so 19 stamina. So you are, you are still take, using up stamina when you get hit by when you block an attack in the full box stance. Um, next thing, oh, that's the feet. So we're going to go over the next. But the next thing is tier one feet, which added bleed damage, now does more bleed damage. It's four bleed over four seconds instead of three bleed per hit. And we'll count that afterwards. Um, the next thing is the miss recovery on the four dodge bash. So this was extremely slow and it was very easy to dodge it and get a guard break. But now, it's much harder to. Well done, Nutella, uh, being early enough to dodge it. Um, if you dodge early, you're still going to be able to get... Yeah. If you dodge on the dodge, you'll still be able to get, get one, but... So if you dodge on orange, um, you get you can't get a GP. If you dodge on dodge, you can get a GP. Yeah. That's so basically this is the same as there. This is the same as Griffin's bash. Um, I mean, if you delay it, it's still gonna it makes it more likely to get guard broken, but it is significantly safer. You will still get dodge attack from it. Um, Let me dodge attack then. Nah, that's too light. There we go. Actually. Yeah, as long as you, as long as they dodge attack again on prediction, or depends on how fast the dodge attack is. Most dodge attacks will hit it. Um, also, better to throw your dodge attack from the side he's not blocking. Yes. So essentially, this is a 200 milliseconds reduction in the recoveries, so it makes it significantly safer. It's not going to be the safest bash ever. It's not like Black Prior's neutral bash, um, and you will still get guard broken from it sometimes if they, if they dodge on like again if they dodge on your dodge. But you will be able to mix it up with and if they're doing that, you'll be able to mix it up with empty dodge into guard break yourself to catch. Um, the next thing I can't do as much, couldn't do as myself beforehand, so. Um, if Nutella will go into the stance for me. Um, the next thing is the light from the guard break stance, it's from the sort of full block stance, has 100 milliseconds of guard break vulnerability. So Nutella should not be able to interrupt my guard break with a light attack on reaction. As you can see, Nutella's stamina is going down every time he does it. He is actually trying to throw these light attacks at me. But yeah, he has to go very early. Um, basically, you can't stand in this stance forever and not get guard broken. You, if you're sitting in there and somebody's watching you, guard breaking is a relatively safe thing for them to do. They have to be very, very fast to interrupt that on reaction. And the next things are his um, Mujo Kaze, which is the Mujuo Kaze, which is the zone attack from. This stance has an improved hitbox, which again, it's difficult to show in only one, but we will go over that a bit. Um, we get some, we'll get somebody else to come in and help us with that. So, implications. What do these changes mean? Well, we've talked a little bit about it basically feels less clunky, but what does feeling less clunky actually, actually mean? So we'll go start off with the chain links, which are now 200 ms. Beforehand, you could interrupt his heavy finisher after a light opener, and now you cannot. My light opener will beat out Nutella's light attack every time after a light attack. And it also means after a kick into a light attack, uh, into a heavy attack, you will still land your heavy attack, which means that you can now very safely mix up between a um, bash or, or the heavy because neither of them are going to be interruptible by, by the opponent. Previously, if you land a light attack or a dodge attack, because they've also got light hits on, you'd have to chain into the, the light finisher. Um, but now you can use the 
the heavy a lot more safely in chain. It also means that if you are baiting a deflect, for example, um, and the opponent dodges early, so let's say you 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 dodge as early as you can after this in the tower. Mm -hmm. Well, you do a side dodge. Um, your feint to guard break will always catch them. Beforehand, an early feint to guard break, uh, an early dodge would actually allow you to counter um, a feint to guard break. And now this is not the case. So if you're against an assassin who's trying to deflect on light timing, for example, you will be able to, or even if you mix up the heavy because you think they're going to parry instead of going to go for the dodge, you will still catch their dodge. That's quite nice. Um, so that is the main implication of the faster light, faster chains. It there is also has also opened up an extra punish for the character. Um, so if Natalia, you go out of stamina and out of lock, you will now see that heavy into heavy is confirmed on him. On him. Um, this is actually weirdly the only punish which is now confirmed um, on out of lock. Even though the chains are faster, you still can't get um, uh, like uh, the dodge lights or light into light were already confirmed beforehand. And if he has stamina, there's actually no extra. So you put your stamina back on again. There aren't any extra punishes that weren't already possible. Um, so you're still going to get like that's still blockable. You can still dodge the bash if he. Um, by giving warning about it, those things aren't quite pardon me, are not changed. So it actually hasn't got many new punishes because of those chain links, but it does make it feel a lot nicer. And obviously also means you're less likely to be interrupted in team fights. So another thing which does uh, change with your out of lock, if you go again out of lock from Intel, is that because of the I guess we're moving on to uh, talking about talking about out of lock things. This is obviously relevant for target swapping, but the, the chain bash increased range now also makes it an out-of-lock punish. Previously, if you did the chain bash, basically the opponent would be pushed so far away that your chain bash would whiff, and it looked really weird. Um, well, it looked really pathetic, to be honest. <laughs> but now your bash will catch them. Um, again, from a, like a light attack, it's dodgeable, but and same from the dodge heavies, it's also dodgeable because they've got light, light hits done. But you will be able to... Um, I mean, that that's one of, one of the notable changes from the... You won't whiff your dash just because the opponents get pushed away a little bit far. Um, again, going backwards to the Kaze stance cancels in chain. So previously, there was basically no scenario you could throw out your Kaze stance unblockable heavy and not have it be possible for your opponent to interrupt it. The only time you could do it was after the Fujin Force, so this attack, and only if this attack landed. Um, otherwise, you're... So you can do, it. You can do that. I'm just right now. That is the only time previously that you'd be able to land the attack. If it traded... Um, Sorry, if it was if if they block the Fujin Force, um, oh man, I'm, I'm <laughs> um, try to mash light to interrupt. Yeah, <laughs> excellently CC. Oh dear. Yeah. So yeah, previously that would trade, so you'd bounce off a light attack, which is still the case, but. Other than that, now there are other scenarios where you can get your unblockable heavy without it being interrupted. Notably, from a heavy, any heavy attack, your unblockable heavy is no longer interruptible. This means if you land a heavy attack, let's say you land your undodgeable heavy finisher, you can use your chain pressure of your unblockable a lot more safely. So it means that he's much more likely to feel like he has a three-hit chain with the unblockable. Um, this is uh, going to be massively useful in 1v1s because if somebody knew that you could, they could interrupt the unblockable very easily, they would always do it, and there was very little you could do beforehand. Um, thank you, QK, for the Faram comment. I saw you then. Another thing, so you can still interrupt the unblockable after a light opener. 
that is still interruptible. But um, previously, that light wasn't counterable in any way. Um, sorry. I mean, you still can't faint to full block it because reasons. Um, I should be able. To, I should be able to parry that if I am not. It's at the very least blockable. It is very. It is blockable. Beforehand, it was blockable, but you couldn't parry it, and now it should be. Uh, how about you, you try and, and parry mine, because I'm right. useless. All right. There we go. Second try, and Atar is actually a skilled player. Sorry. Uh, Genetic. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. you've got... You've... Born well with better done. genes. Congratulations on, on being genetically superior and also younger than me. Um, Ray. <laughs> So you can now parry that light interrupt after a, a light attack, which previously was not possible to do. Um, other things that has this has affected has affected your frame advantage after light finishes. Previously, if you light finisher, you could do the Kazakhstan's light, which is a, and then that would be have frame advantage and let you do your Fujin cuts. But anything else would be interrupted. Now you can do the light finisher. But you can also do the zone. And that has frame advantage as well. So now, as well as the opponent, after your light chains, they have to block their prediction block to their left side. They also have to worry about your zone attack. Um, I mean, it's not the biggest mix-up ever, but it is now possible to use that to keep frame advantage. That's nice. And let's look at the other things. Oh, uh, okay. So the other, th the other stuff... Um, oh, okay, yes. The, going into the Fujin Force on Whiff. Um, for a point of comparison, this this speed going into the Fujin Force is the same uh, for Black Prior going into his, the fastest they can go into full block stance. Um, uh, the full block... Not full, bulwark sorry. stance. Yeah, the fastest they can get bulwark counter frames on Whiff. So the speed is the same. So, the same. so if you're used to playing Black Prior... This character will feel a lot closer to Black Prior because the values are the same. Um, the soonest you can go into full block after missing an attack or hitting an attack is the same as the soonest you can bulwark counter with Black Prior in the same conditions. So this means that if your opponent dodges your opener attacks and uses a dodge attack, you can quite easily um, full block them and punish. So, if, for example, if you dodge the dodge heavy, you can get that punish. I mean, even on prediction, I think you. Like, if you react to my forward dodge, I should be able to get that. There we go. So, that makes it. I mean, that's quite a nice. That will be a nice mix. Rather than ha previously, you'd have to do a forward dodge and then go into the stance and debate this kind of. Which gives the opponent a lot more time to react, but now I think it's—I think it actually is faster to buffer a forward dodge heavy and go straight into the stance. Of course, you like to be parried by that, but yeah, ups and downs, upsides and downsides. Um, the point is, you can get into the stance a lot, lot nicer as a recovery cancel, and it's going to feel a lot better both in one v ones and in team fights, where you'll be able to, able to throw your finishers and not get punished as easily. So. Um, the next things are going to require a third a volunteer. So, do we have anybody in the chat or uh, in the voice text voice chat who would like to join and um, help us demonstrate? I'm down. All right, Jay Carella. Uh, well, uh, Jay Carella said uh, <laughs> uh, volunteered first dem, so I'm going to have to give give them the. It's the first refusal. Um, what's your you play? You can just message me. Uh, like in... Sure. Or is it just, or if it's just Jake Carella? You can just say. Yeah, with a period at the end. Okay. Jake Carella with a period at the end. Great. Oh, my overlay isn't working. Let's go, UB. All right, woman. No, no worries. Um, you can open. You can always open the chat to get that yeah. to work. And we will then 
whilst waiting for that, I'll start setting up custom map. Box, thank you. Turn around. So I'm going to put feet on so we have, um, so we can see those as well. And then All right. Up. I got it. Jay Corella, like the game. There we go. Okay, let us go. Did it start? I oh, know, I didn't I didn't press the start button. Genius here. Pardon, sorry, what was that? Pretty new me to be. Um you can go any character you want to. Um I mean nicest if you go we can all go kyoshins but sure. i'll be the do the demonstration and then you can just go whichever you feel like all right so i'm going to stick with the same the default feats we will now cover the changes to the character which um are only are mostly relevant to team fights so first thing we're going to go about is the chain bash again. So we talked about it's got better range um, and you can target swap the follow up right from it, which means that it's a lot nicer to use in team fights when you um, you can switch it between opponents. So let's say I land a kick on Jay Corella and that's going to hit the tower a lot easier. As well as that. Well, wow, okay, I can tar target sort of the light, but it has apparently. Yeah, okay, so you can target sort of it, but it's a bit weird to target swap. Well. Yeah, well, I think the, the, the main thing it can do is that, let's say, Natalia, you try and punish my... Um, you try and light back me out of my bash after you, after you see that my bash lands. So it will be able to... Uh, well, fair enough. If the opponent attacks you to try and get in range, let's say they did bash, try and bash you out of it, your target swap light should catch them. Just about. So... Those are the main. Uh, it is use. It, it's it's nicer to have than not having it, but I don't think it's not. It's not an incredible tool. Um, it's just it's just there, but it's it's better than for characters like Warlord, for example. He can only do his he can only do his light poke on the one opponent he targeted um, with his bash. So it means that the opponent can always go for a guard break on him. And basically, you know, and if he bashes somebody, his the ally. The ally can it can always go and punish it, um, whereas now you can target swap, so that's a little bit less easy for them to do. Um, yes, so the next thing, uh, Muyo Kase's trajectory was adjusted to probably hit external targets. So this is the stance zone attack. Um, it now has a slightly better hitbox. It's not crazy better. It's only going to hit people on the same side as the zone attack. So the light attack, again, still has shitty hitboxes um but the zone attack now will hit people to the side and if they're like slightly behind me so if let's say you're at the um, eight o'clock position maybe a little bit a little bit further around like, like nine o'clock eight o'clock um if i'm like da -da. well i guess that's seven o'clock there we go there we go it can hit people behind you just about not very it's not the best hitboxes ever, but they do exist. And the same thing, if you then, like, counter an attack from an opponent, let's say Nutella attacks me. I did the heavy because I'm numpty. The zone will hit them every now and again. Um, the hit stun of the zone isn't so long that you can actually get your chain, your, like, triple light chain off without... Um, worrying about it unfortunately so if like if we're in this position and again Nutella bashed me and then I did the heavy instead so um Corella if you try and like guard break me out of my 
triple light chain off after I use the zone punish. Yeah. You're still going to get guard broken from it. It's not incredible, but it's better than before. Slightly. Like, better to actually hit somebody than to not hit them, even if it's not nothing crazy. Um, what hasn't changed, though, is the hitbox of the regular zone attack. So, if, yeah, Jay Gorilla's next to me, I have to work incredibly hard to hit him with my zone attack. In fact, I'm not sure it's even possible. Um, yeah, there we go, that side. But back here. Yeah, if you there we go. All right, I'll just start a new round. Defeat. The out of stamina light attack. What what a champion. So the whilst the the stance zone hitbox is better, his hitboxes are still definitely subpar. Like there's there's no two ways about it. Overall the hitboxes are still bad. Um, the stance light has basically no no hitbox other than for the person you're you're aiming on. The full block version of it is a little bit better though. So if, um, if Jay Corella hits me with something, that hits Nutella as well. Um, so, but if he doesn't hit me beforehand, then it's got shitty hitbox. So it's a weird hitbox gets better after it becomes unblockable. I don't know why that's the case. It just is. Um, something else that you've been seeing on the screen is the Kageru uh, has damage logs on, which I'm pretty sure it does. Um, Kageru, which is the bleed from this tier one feat, is doing extra damage now. So, uh, if you uh, throw an attack me to full block, tar, I'm now going to be doing 16 extra bleed damage from my tier one feat, which is, I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot of damage. Now, your punishers go up from being 20 on the full block punish to being 36, which is considerable. I mean, it's almost doubling damage from the tier 1 feat, so I think the tier 1 feat is now actually a very good feat to take. Because you just get a lot of extra damage from it. The heal for the tier 2 feat is still the same. It's not changed, so it's, you're still getting um, you hit me a couple of times until so I um, see the damage done. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll do it on Jake Rowan instead. Um, so I'm still only healing 12 um, health from the tier 2, which means that the optimal tier 2 to take for this character is still going to be Smoke Bomb. And to be honest, I think um, Arrow Strike is also probably a better choice than his unique tier 2. Um, a point of information is that the bleed from the tier 1 is the same as the bleed from the tier 2. The tier 3 feet, so your unique tier 3, also applies 4 bleed per tick now. So it's not just the tier 1 that's been buffed. You see, still doing 16 damage. Some bleed damage from that. So tier 1 and the tier 3 feet have been buffed as well at the same time. Although... Still, the tier 2 feet's not great. Um, and I think with that, that's covered all of the changes to the character and all of the consequences of the changes to the character um, that I can think of, at least. Have you got any other thoughts, Nutella or Jake Rell or anybody else that matter? Oh, yes. I forgot. Oh, we forgot. Yes, I forgot that the undocumented changes. I didn't scroll down far enough on my list of things. Which I added these undocumented changes. <laughs> um, all right, so I guess first, those undocumented changes, the bug where his kick would bounce off an opponent of forward dodge is now gone. You will, If you land your kick on the opponent, you're always going to be able to get your punish. Um, and they're not going to be bouncing back a mile and a half which was quite a weird looking and I think Stag said on one time he did get ledged by being pushed back not sure exactly if that was the case but uh, it's quite funny but that's not happening anymore so if you kick lands you're always going to get punished from it uh, the second undocumented change is that you used to be able to get a guard break after blocking a heavy but now you can't it basically has no it's, it's like really slow when you I just blocked it normally then didn't I 
Okay. So you want to uh, try and G me then, um, Jay? Yeah. Well, that's pretty weird, but um, I mean, oh. <laughs> At least you can then do that. Um, so you will be safe from garbage punishes from, from that. Uh, yes, so the punish you get from the full block is now always just the full block punish and nothing extra. Uh, and yeah, I think those are the two other bits of undocumented bug fixes. Um, and I think that's it for this character, really. So. Oh, I guess we can show that you can still parry from the stance. So if you, if you guys, I'll give you a countdown and then until you throw a top heavy and Jake Carell, you throw an unblockable stance heavy. And I should be able to parry, block the tails and then parry yours. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Well, three, two, one, go. <laughs> well, I do really. Yeah, uh, go on, go, go on, go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Well, maybe a better player than me will be able to do it consistently. Three, two, one, go. Uh, we can stop over that the circle. The, the, <laughs> the unblockable hit me first on my damage log, so I, <laughs> I wasn't me doing that first. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, it's stop easy to demonstrate with, with Berserker. Uh, if you um, if you block the first attack of his zone, you can parry the second one. That's still possible. Um, uh, which means you parry on block balls coming into you in team fights if you block an attack first, if you are a better player than me, which most of you probably are. So, I think, uh, so thanks for, for reminding me of those things and tell anything else that you guys have noticed playing the character? Um, no, anything? No. We, we can say that uh, Kyushin is a strong character now. I mm. wouldn't call them a strong character. I'd say they're usable. Um, they're in at least in terms of their viability. In terms of um, uh, team, in terms of um, sorry, I looked. I looked at the, the Twitch chat and then my mind just went blank completely. Um, in terms of viability at top level Dominion play, like you are, you don't, don't even though he's banned in this this. Um, one of the Dominion series. I don't think you'll see them in the next Dominion series either. They just don't have good enough feats. And their moveset is okay now, but it's still lacking in many ways. You're still very vulnerable if you throw those um, those uh, these light attacks. You're still going to be... You know, even if like hit J. Carrera, then I can still get punished quite... Like the issue of his character is he doesn't he really serve a role. He's no not worries. a team fighter. Um, it would definitely be not not a lot nicer to play in duels. So in duels, the viability will have gone up from. I mean, okay. So I say viability gone up at the very top. The very top level players who could consistently react to the um, to a guard break from full block stance with a light attack. The viability has probably gone down because they basically had an extremely safe defensive tool that did quite a lot of damage. But now you can't um, counter guard break from it with a light attack. So that kind of broken, brokenly powerful thing is, is no longer as powerful. But overall, I still think the character's improved in 1v1s, at least for the general yeah. population. Because, yeah, most people aren't weren't consistently reacting to guard breaks with light attack anyway. And now you're not going to get punished nearly as much from the kicks. Um, which is now a lot safer to throw out. It's going to be a lot closer to Griffin's kick in terms of um, safety. But with the additional um, properties that you can throw the forward dodge heavy and go straight into the block stance, which will catch baited dodge attacks. So maybe it's a little bit safer, maybe not. I think for many people, it's got big animation. So for many players who have got like very good reactions, they will probably be able to react to, the, to, to it on orange. But, I mean, they're going to be few and far between, so most of the time you won't run into them. Um, and just not being punished from guard break with guard break on, from the kick is going to make it a lot nicer as well. And not being interrupted in chains. So his mix-up is now a lot stronger in chain after you land your kick um, or light opener into your unblockable, your bash or um, 
heavy and dodgeable mix up is a lot more viable to use so that is really quite a high damage mix up it's sort of 15 damage or 30 damage which is really very good for um these bash and dodgeable mix ups most of them tend to be around 14 to 27 or 14 to 24 that kind of region region so 15 to 15 or 30 is actually really good um you will still get the the chain bash recoveries haven't changed so if somebody early dodges your offer a light opener they can early dodge your chain bash and get a guard break and i can't counter that um but after a heavy uh, blocked heavy you're safe so it it um and i think also after a i'm not sure about the dodge attack after dodge uh, no it's, it's not either way it's not the yeah. dodge yeah, we can still get recovery. Okay, so overall, it's probably a better mix-up. Not the not the best, not the worst. His hitboxes are better. Like character has improved definitely. He'll feel he won't feel like a pain to play. Like previously, you would like say, how did that not hit the opponent, or how did I not recovery cancel in time? You will find it's a lot feels a lot nicer to play but i still don't think the character is going to be a top tip pick yeah he, the character doesn't really have a role to fit into because he's not a good team fighter he's not a good mid clearer he's not really that great of a ganker unless he's with himself which doesn't happen in comp mm. so yeah i say the character is rather good as a ganker actually i because he don't feed he doesn't feed any like considerable revenge with it because maybe with the tier one now because he's got even more damage now. With a tier one, it'd be I'd say it'd be a good ganker. I mean, it's kind of passive because you have to if you rely on the if you rely on the superior block to get starting the gank, then it's not very good. But uh, you know, even if, even for like if they guard break for the um, the unblockable heavy into the things, or you can you can punish quite easily if they put themselves in recovery. You can punish with a light attack, and that already go. With a stance light, and then that goes into a gank as well. Um, why am I pressing that? So, I mean, he's not a team fighter, but I think he's actually quite a decent ganker. Um, he's also not an anti-ganker, really. I think I think that's probably what they intended for this character to be, like a combination of ganker or an anti-ganker, um, because. In theory, he's like got lots of defensive tools, but in practice, because this stance makes him so vulnerable to being bashed um, or unblockables, you are um, he's not really an anti-ganker either. So, I mean, with some changes, if he could dodge out of it um, a lot faster, then he'd probably be quite decent at stalling character, because he is quite hard to attack. But Without that, those changes, I don't think you can see, really call him an anti-ganking character either. So, uh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. No, it's fine. Uh, I was just Bob... blabbering. Oh, oh, nonsense! You were not blabbering at all. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, a thought has occurred regarding his, uh, you know, Kaze stance. What would the, uh, uh, how would it, what would its status be if, say, for one of the uh, options it had? You know, it had access to an undodgeable attack, especially one with one of a a wide hit bar. What, what would be your what would be the assessment of that? I don't think it would actually think make that much of a difference, at least in one v one situations, because you now with with the unblockable heavy being fixed, they can't early dodge unblockable heavy. Um, you know, it's now a, you know it's a proper mix up with faint to guard break. Um, and, and if they early dodge it, early effect dodges as well. Yeah. It'll catch you. It'll catch early dodges. So, like, it, I don't think the undodgeable really would help that, especially because for many characters they could just block the same. If it was like, let's say, his stance zone was undodgeable, they could block that side and they wouldn't really have to worry about it. Um, so you can't early dodge from it anymore. So I don't really think it needs an undodgeable. I mean, it might help in team fights a little bit, but I don't really see that. I think the biggest buff it, it really needs is as a defensive tool. Uh, having some some defense against bashes whether it's a uh, low recovery to dodge so like um, warlord's stance you can like let go of stance and then immediately dodge with zero mass recovery or if let's say i don't know maybe they make the stance zone have dodge frames like hidden stance because i mean he does a little fancy twirl around anyway doesn't he so 
maybe he should get a, a dodge properties on that as well. But, oh, right, right. I think you're right about that. I think both Mabushi and Conquer have the ability to dodge out of their stances. Yeah, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, Nabushi can dodge out of it. Warlord, Warlord. can. I'm, 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 oh, I, okay. Can Conk right. dodge out of his stance? I'm, right. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not actually. Um, I'm not too sure. Yeah, well, he might be able to. I don't play Conk that much, so. Um, I wouldn't be honestly surprised if he did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love yes, Conk. <laughs> 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 as much as I loved for that conversation <laughs> okay so <laughs> so yeah um, I, I think he still needs some changes but then comparatively minimal um, again the feats really hold him back in fours like you're not yeah I have to feats. agree with that I have to agree like, the tier um, one the tier four are good but the other tier the tier two as well arrow strikes okay but um, you're not gonna get like he's not gonna be picked for his alternate feats at all the tier three I, choices are mm, terrible. They're all really bad. So yeah, I I, I granted. I think I've only had one match, with him, but I've observed both the plays. You know, uh, from you know you and you know your uh, colleagues, right? <laughs> and you know other people too. And uh, I think from my typically been observed is that uh, unless you're part of a well coordinated group, you know, uh, you're going to get a lot more worth out of using the unique tier four, but. You know, other than that, you know, if you're in general matchmaking, it, you know, it really then just boils down to how you know competent your teammates are. I think the unique tier, yeah, I mean the unique tier four is still rather good. Um, and no, as Kramax said, he's he is actually quite good ganker, I think, um, especially with another Kyoshin you can infinite, you can infinite with uh, Shigoki, with any character that has a pinning move that they can land off the Kaze stance, you can do an infinite. So you can probably do an infinite with Gladiator as well. Um, and that would feed very little revenge total. Like the character is a is a good good ganker, I'd say. Like, mm. yeah, I have to agree with that. That's I mean, he's, he's not on the same tier as uh, Scent or Gladiator, but I think I'd say he's probably. I mean, he's not as good as Goki either, but he's a bit a bit worse than Goki because um, Goki can infinite with any character, because you can. That, mm, that's a very interesting uh, assessment because uh, normally. You know, Centurion is typically, you know, uh, seen as being a go-to ganking character, him and Gladiator. But some of the complaints have been from the community that, you know, that, you know, we do want ganking to kind of be curbed a bit. And we do say that, you know, while, you know, Centurion is not banned from the tournament, you know, the people do feel like the pin mechanic he has is a bit strong for its own good. Yeah, so, I mean, I actually do you don't think... That... Sorry, yeah. you finish your, set. finish your question before, oh, I, before I start talking, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so do you feel like the ganking ability to Kyoshin is a little bit more closer to what we could see in a healthy ganker? You know, as far as game health is concerned. Yeah, I'd say so, because it doesn't loop. Um, I think that's the main... the main. I mean, it loops with some characters, with Goki you can, you can loop, and obviously we can loop with another Kyoshin. You'd be able to loop with Shinobi, with the Sickle Reigns, and um, yeah, pretty much other characters that have pins. If you have two pinning characters, you can normally loop them together. But he can't loop... A gank with another character that doesn't have those mechanics. So I don't think you can land. You can't, for, for example, you can't um, land one unblockable into those things and then have an ally throw a heavy attack, which confirms another another um, stance unblockable. Which is what, but which Goki can do. He can throw a hug. He can hug the opponent. Then your ally can land a heavy attack, and then in the hit stun of that heavy attack, you can land another hug. Um, or they can chain into a, a blockable attack that they, they have to block, and then let you land a little hug. So, compared to those gankers, he's not as good, but I think the character's g gank is decent. Um, like, I don't think anybody would be saying... And, and people in ma matchmaking are complaining about his ganking already because it's very easy to pull off. You just land, just land the unblockable. Um, and if the opponents don't know what they're doing, the... Um, the, the sort of the, they have to externally guard the second one, and then you'll be able to block the lights if they miss up the timing. But they, but most people don't know how to do that, so people are complaining about this. The ganks being accessible. Right, anyway, yeah, that, that's, yeah. Sorry, uh, that's no, that's okay. No, you're, that, that, that's good to know. That's actually good to know. Um, I, I think some of the uh, comments that you know I've been hearing that you know or some concerns has been that um, you, you said earlier that the unblockable from Kaze stance has pretty you know 
improved range, basically. So are you saying for people who say back dodge from uh, Kazuya's stance, not on reaction to the unblockable, but, you know, just on reaction to the stance itself, uh, are you saying that the unblockable will catch them? I think it will, yes. Uh, you want to try that, Natal? Um hmm? Yeah, if you let You, you just could. back dodge as soon as, I, as soon as I, uh, I'm going to stance. Yeah, there we go. I don't think you can parry that either. Oh. Yeah, so that's definitely helped with the the. You know, it's much more viable as um, the block was much better, just as an offensive tool. Mm, yeah, uh, I do think that. Uh, yeah, I think it'll probably be even more effective once we see the removal of the option selects then we can yeah i mean he actually does all right against option selects at least against the regular ones because um well he can he can faint into his stance so if you zone if like jake or zone parries me or ah. yeah oh that, that brings me to i think the only other issue that i probably well maybe still two issues but uh, i don't know I, I guess we'll see if they still pop up uh, depending yeah. how they percolate uh, but uh, I think the other issue that probably comes to my mind, uh, another kind of uh, interesting uh, observation, is probably the concern of his damage. I have heard that the newest update actually did nerf his damage a bit. Oh, it and nerfed the damage people... on one of his attacks, but I don't really think that was a major... It nerfed the damage on uh, his stance light. The default stance light does 8 damage now instead of 12. But yes. to be fair, it was a bit strange that it did 12 damage when the slower zone only did 10 damage. Um... I mean, that hasn't changed. It's still 10 damage, but now this does less damage, despite being... Mm. Uh, which is, e, that, uh, is, that, is, that is actually interesting. Uh, and to be fair, mm. for, like, players who aren't, like, for new players, like, a 22 damage 500 MS indicator attack, which doesn't really have a, a sort of... I mean, you can see the the, 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 the dust by his feet, but otherwise, other than that, it's not that easy to see coming. All oh, right. I think you mentioned that before that it has some sort of similar effect to hidden stance, where uh, I think it, it's just a lot more difficult to see coming. I think it's much more difficult to see coming than hidden stance because you've only got a minimum of 200 ms of the stance before you could go into it. I don't know, and Nutella can probably see from his perspective, but I'm not sure if you can yeah. even. Yeah. Can, ah, can you see the, the, so the, yes, the dust? Can you see the dust coming out my feet before the attack comes yeah. out? Yeah, I can. Okay, well, so it does have a little bit, a little bit of a um, a tell, but it's not considerable. Okay, so at least there's a bit of a reaction. You know, uh, what do you call it? A reaction gate? Is that the word? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't really like reaction gates personally. As a, as a. No, no, of course not. Reaction do I. checks are honestly the worst thing for runner has to offer. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, no, but no. um. But in that sense, I, it, it does make sense to me that they uh, reduce the damage of that, so it's not twenty-two. Anyway, I think we've covered uh, the ch the Kazakhstan's changes quite um, quite thoroughly now. Uh, so the the Kyoshin changes yeah, the, quite thoroughly now. I think so. The... I'd like to move on to uh, unless anybody else has any other questions about um, Kyoshin. Um, any chance of a TLDR? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'll put the uh, I'll put the uh, link to the. Um, Reddit post with the changes in the Twitch chat know, and in Dojo. Is, no, just, uh, yeah, he has some cliff notes on the post. Okay. Which yeah, there's some cliff notes in the, in the post, where, so like, I've given a bit of the implications of each one of them. Uh, essentially, character feels nicer now. We'll be closer to um, feeling like Black Prior's recovery cancels, and you won't get interrupted by quite as much stuff, or punished quite as much for dodges. Um, that kind of thing. So. Let's move on from this to bugs, the second part of the talk today, which is bugs you should know. Um, so let me, so I, basically the way I want to do this is I'm going to go through the uh, reported issues in the bug, in the bug reporter from most upvoted and talk about the most important ones as we as we go down the thing so basically it'll probably take uh, i'm not sure we'll go through, we won't bother going through all of them because a lot of them aren't very important but some of them are quite important to know about so we'll start off going with if somebody could pick black prior we'll go um we'll go to uh, 
opinion match. One of you can pick Black Prior. And the other one can pick... I'll pick Tiandi. Um, actually, I think we might need... Let me think about it. We need... Hmm, we're going to need um, four people to demonstrate the revenge shield bug, aren't we? So, we do we have... Devin. Yeah, shall I invite Dem if you're still around? Um, if he isn't, I'm available. If you want me to load up. Oh, no, he is online. I mean, you can come as well if you want to. Um, that's uh, Rico, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I have you already, because I had you last time. Well, I can invite you... Um, it's yeah, just we just the game up. I was doing a little drawing. Oh, no worries. What are you drawing? Anything exciting? A uh, warmonger, actually. Doing a little cool. fancy little... What's it called? Drawing of her in different poses. Because I've got a practice Ooh. character drawing for my university I'm going to. Nice. Wow, that sounds awesome. I hope you post it on the uh, Reddit when, when that's all done. Oh, I posted it in the for on a Discord. <laughs> but I didn't know where to put it. Well, not the warmonger one, but I did one of Gladiator. In the dojo, we have a. I think we have a sharing channel somewhere. I can't remember um, if I put it in dojo. I put it in yeah, the We have a sharing channel. Is there? Yeah, we've got sharing corner and off topic. Um, you can post it there if you if you if you, if you want. Um, I can't remember if I already did. Sorry. Uh. Uh. Meat sweats is also. Oh. <laughs> I saw meat sweats a uh, question saying um. Uh, ignoring my perfectly valid questions, and then I read the question. And I'm not sure if it is a perfectly valid question, Meat Sweat. Is Kyoshin a better waifu than male Yormungandr? Um I'd say Kyoshin is cleaner. Therefore, yes. <laughs> All right. So, to each their own, yeah. you know, to each their own. Yeah, each their own, exactly. <laughs> I don't say you never learn anything from this. <laughs> All right. Um... Well, let me know when you guys are loaded up, Rico. I think I've invited them already, but might need another invite. Um, and we will move into the bugs you should know section of the topic. I'm loading up now. Did you want me to right. post the Gladiator one? I can't remember if I did already, but I'll... I'll... Well, you can do it in your own time, uh, or after this, after we get the... Uh... Uh, I got it on my phone, <laughs> so... I can't do it on my PC because the file size is too large. I have to do it off my phone. That is the opposite way to how I thought it would be. But um... no, apparently, yeah, it auto compresses it. Yeah, and I can't be bothered to go into the software and compress it right now. <laughs> wow. Well, fair enough. That's like today I learned. But important bugs. There you go. Nice segue to the topic. All right. So um... get my controller ready. Where we'll just um. Uh, uh, somebody come with me and be Black Prior, so Natalia, you can come with me, and hopefully we will end up with two people on J. Crow's team. Don't trust it. It's not going to do it right. Did you just just wait here? <sighs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's oh, fine. Did it. We have them in Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. Uh, yeah, crazy times. Well, otherwise we'll go to Pierce Pierce, and nobody will spectate us. What a shame. Right. Do I need to be yeah. anyone specific? Nah, you can just come. Come anyone, anyone you fancy. Oh, maybe you can go Shigoki, um, because right. that's another thing. So yeah, uh, Dem, if you go with Jay Corella and and Telekins with me, and I will go TND. Oh, you've just arrived, Rico. So hopefully, yeah. What am I going to be doing with Goki? Because I just I uh, how to play him. It'll just be counter guard breaking, so it'll be quite oh, easy okay. for you. Um, hmm. Who am I playing? Anyone need it? Uh, is that is that? Sorry, Jake. Uh, Rico, you can. Well, who's who's playing Goki? Sorry, um, I'm playing Goki. Okay, and uh, Rico, you can play. Um, let's have a look. With I should have put perks on. Dang it! You can go Valkyrie. Um. Oh. Parks are on. Are they? Oh, great. Yeah. Well, any specific uh, reason for Valkyrie? Uh, uh, because I'm looking through the list of bugs uh, that you should know about. <laughs> All right. And Valkyrie. Any feet I would need is it to do with a feet, or is it just no? A it's just a move set thing. Um, All right. Probably her left chain heavy. It is tank. indeed the left chain heavy. Oh, I thought it would have been spoilers. <laughs> Damn. 
I'm Sorry like... for the spoils. <laughs> I've got like 17 reps on Valkyrie. I've never noticed anything weird with a left chain heavy. Well, you will about you will be about to. Um, so, oh, is it funny enough, I. Bug? Oh no, this bug's been in the game for ages and ages. So oh, I guess I'm just a dumbass. I've noticed it. It's all right. Like a lot of people that. You won't, a lot of times these, these things fly on the radar, which is why we're doing this session. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the point is this thing is to cover some of the bugs which you might encounter and are a bit weird um, and are important for you to know about because of encounter. So, well, let's go to the the usual spot, which is... Um, Just follow them if you don't know yeah, where it is. Yeah, follow them if, if you don't know where it is. Um, this nice little. I think it's part of the. Um... Oh, weird. It's on the brawl map, yeah. One person. Yeah, it's the brawl map there. thing. Okay, so we'll start off with uh, the most infamous one, if you ask my opinion. Um, you guys uh, beat me up until I'm on critical health. <sighs> Not me, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. That's good. Um, as you can see from the glowing green aura around me, I now have my Rally Call feat active. But as you can also see from Nutella's uh, health bar, it is not doing anything. So, Nutella, you want to throw an attack on Dem or something, show that you do, like, your normal damage? 27. Standard. 27. If you walk right up close to me, you can get the damage buff. Um... But you have to, like, be literally inside my character model for that to happen. Well, oh, yeah, I see it. As a rally call just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Rally call, instead of being 5 meters or 15 meters, why it's supposed to be, is 0 0.5. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure this has got a 15 <laughs> meter radius, but actually it has a 0.5 yeah. meter radius. One of the devs um, just forgot to add the one. Yeah, and it's been known to be uh, broken for a very, very long time. Um, but that's how it is. Uh, if damn, if you hit me with a light attack. All right. So now I've got my indomitable shield up. Um, can the rest of you guys feed me revenge? Oh, oh wait! I, my headbutt does damage. Yeah, I don't want to kill you. Most uncoordinated way to feed revenge. Oh, unfortunately, I have my, my um, I'll have to heal up with my tier tier one first thing. Cause my I won't be on cooldown until I've. Um. All right. Uh, now, uh, Jake Rally, you hit me again, so I'm in back in my. Let's go. I have uh, on top yeah, just, you, you just need to hit me somewhere. Oh, no, um, just like, yeah. Again, to be a 25 health. There you go. Right. I'm now going to put my revenge. Ah! And that shield stays. And that oh, shield will fixed? stay. Uh, no, yeah. this is still uh, not fixed. Yeah, so I leave revenge with <laughs> a full shield. This is the revenge shield bug. And oh. even if I don't have a shield myself from my feet, um, let's say you guys feed me revenge again. I can revenge. pop revenge and then Natal can use his Black Prior's feet yeah. to give me his shield near, near the end of it. And again, full oh. shield. Oh, so yeah. that will last for as long as basically your uh, the feet, the, the, the source of the shield that would give you a shield lasts for. Uh, you will see this bug. A lot. It happens a lot on Tiendi because of this, uh, his tier four feet. But also, um, Black Prior can give it, can intention intentionally give it to anybody in revenge. Um, and if you have the um, vengeful barrier perk, which Natal, do you by any chance have on your loadout? I do have. In that case, <laughs> spam Natal and give uh, Natal revenge. I'm gonna ledge him in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Natal pop revenge, and then as keep soon as he leaves him, keep on, keep on feeding revenge. So as you can see, he's left revenge and he's got his uh, ventral barrier up. Pops it again whilst ventral barrier was still active. And when he leaves revenge... 
Full okay. shield. And this lasts for 15 seconds, I think. Or is it even longer? 25, maybe? Uh, see the park I'm just going to gonna go and heal myself. Um, I but... hold this up for now, but uh, we'll see the park definition. Okay. There we go. It's quite a long ass time, is the, is the point. Um, again, you, with the, 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 the a while ago, they, yeah, I think it's 15. It used to be 10 seconds, and they, re they increased the duration but reduced the shield amount. Um, and <laughs> then that instead meant that it triggers the. Oh, no, it used to be infinite, but. Uh... Oh, yeah, lower. Uh, yeah. Um, you see surprisingly, 15... one more thing about the revenge shield bug. It doesn't work on breach shield pickup. Every other shield in the game breaks it apart from the breach shield pickup. So, yeah. it's been fixed in one part of the game. <laughs> but yeah. So... Not in the rest. <laughs> yeah, a weird a weird bug. Um, actually, talking about what, another bug right now, which I can show you without having to... It's not been reported yet, but... From one that somebody mentioned to me the other day, um, it's not really in the most important ones. But we talk about Tiandi's tier four. If I use my tier one to put myself in critical health, I don't have that. It doesn't activate. And in fact, the only way it can be activated is if somebody hits me with a hits me. Um, even from chip damage, it won't do it. Or bleed. Or bleed. Oh, a bash. there we go. A bash apparently will trigger it, even if the bash doesn't do any damage. So, yeah, you need to get hit to hit by something to activate the TND's tier four. Um, bleed and chip damage down. does not count. Bleed and chip damage do not count. Um, so, strange. You can kill me if you want to. Just looking at can respawn it. Um, all right. So we've gone over the revenge shield bug, which is probably the most important one in the game that you will notice on a regular basis, and TND's rally call. Next thing, should go key. Um, so if somebody can go to Nutella, so let's say Dem, you go to Nutella and just guard break him and counter guard break him. Um, spam guard breaks on, on Nutella, Dem. As you can see, after every counter guard break, Dem is in range to get another guard break. Right. Do you want to try that with Shigoki? Great. <laughs> Uh, Shigoki is one of the only characters who will guard breaks will whiff if you spam them. Counter guard break pushes Goki far enough back that he misses his next guard break, which is unique. Um, somebody mentioned to me that Shaolin does this as well recently, but I haven't checked it myself. So, nevertheless, it is a weird thing that Shigoki has. Um, not quite sure why that's the case, but it is. Um, bear that in mind if you're playing Shigoki. That's an important bug to bear in mind. Next one is the Valkyrie bug. So, Rico, can you go to Nutella? Um, faint a, a regular left side heavy into guard break on him. And then a uh, chain right side heavy. Chain right side heavy? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I think I And now a here. chain left side heavy. Yep. Oh. I I Tell you can be. Uh, you don't even have to back uh, dodge. Yeah, can you just, you can just stand I've, there. I have definitely noticed this. Oh, I did it right. I know what you mean now. You, the guard break riffs. Yeah, I've definitely yeah. noticed that before. So, if you're playing Valkyrie, bear in mind, just don't use your left side chain heavy, um, because they can dodge and your guard break will whiff. And if they don't dodge and you faint to guard break, your guard break will still whiff, and they will punish you for a, guard, a free guard break themselves. So. You know, now I've just been shown that, I, I remember. <laughs> yeah, so that's an important, for Valkyrie players, that is an important bug to remember, because uh, otherwise, yeah, you bad times you, can't you even, will have. You can't even GB a Black Friday who's just, you, he can just Chad move you, if you do. Yeah. yeah. You, you, oh, oh, it worked then. Well, yeah. sometimes if you move, if he does a move that moves you close enough to the opponent, yeah. you will, the guard break will catch still, but oh, it's wait, you can still pretty weird. Yes, you can still faint into a forward dodge to get that's a guard break. That's slower than but a faint GB, though. But that's slower than a faint... Exactly. So you have an additional, I think... it's I think it's 200 ms slower, so it won't catch early dodges. Early side dodges, for example. Um, so the next one we can cover is a little bit involved. Um, 
But I think it's still worth talking about because this does affect people quite a lot. Um, so this, we're going to talk about the arcane sticky dodges. So I think Dem, um, let's, we'll, we'll just do a brief one um, because nobody knows what it's about. So um, if Dem and Rico, you can Rico, you can go near to, to Nutella. So Nutella's locked onto Rico at the moment. Um, and then Dem will guard break him. And then Nutella will try to dodge away from uh, but Rico. You'll see to... So let's say you dodge, Nutella will dodge forwards, like to bash Rico, for example, after a counter guard break. Uh, Rico, you just want to stay still. Uh, just see so your my turn. Yeah. yeah. I'm just lock up. Yeah. You see then that the forward, Nutella's forward dodge went towards Dem. Um, another example like, will do if you can, let's see, side dodge away from. Uh, away from Rico away, and away from Dem. You're trying to dodge away from Rico and from sure. Dem after Dem counterparts break you. So then you've dodged, instead of dodging with respect to the camera, you dodge with respect to the person who last counter guard break you. Um, who last guard break you, which means that you can dodge if, let's say, Rico, you're standing right in front of Nutella. You do that again. Then moved yeah. moved side for for, for yeah. a reason. So, yeah. uh, you can dodge into opponents quite easily. Um, yeah. So this counter guard break is the one thing which is consistent will, will consistently cause sticky dodging on every character. But some characters like Raider, Nabushi, and Orochi in particular, and I think also Kyoshin now because he's built off Orochi's like skeleton. You will notice that um, you, you you sticky dodge a lot more with those characters because they are also triggered to sticky dodge by blocking an attack. I think we can show it with um, if um, so. Rico, you move out of the way, and me and not uh, me and Atel will show on Dem. Um, Dem will block my attack and then dodge away from me to his um, away from Nutella, and then yeah. So if you dodge. Dem, if you're going to dodge... Yeah, that way. I, I can't do rights and lefts, but anyway. So that, he's in that case, you're dodge actually... right, but he's back dodging. Yeah, he's dodging backwards. Yeah. So with um, Raider and Orochi, they have an issue where their dodges get mapped to the wrong key. So if he does, I think it's a left dodge, he will dodge forwards. I think that's the one. Yeah. Uh, but since you swap position, it's a bit different now. Uh, all right, so I'll, move, I'll move over again. Yeah. Um, so left touch from here, and he no, no, and then sticky rapidly. Yeah, that's there we full go. dodge. He loses all iframes because he tried to dodge left there. Uh, with Raider, all of your positions move by one uh, clockwise ninety degrees, if that makes sense. Yeah. So left is now forward. Forward is now right. And right is back, back is left. So yeah. So if I was, to, if I was, for example, to chain a um, like a heavy into a heavy, um, my heavy will hit them if he dodges you if it, so that sticky heavy. dodge happens. Um, yeah. Yeah. If it's I mean, he's gonna be extended. Yeah. If you had an unblockable or a bash, you would eat it because yeah. he couldn't dodge it. Well, I do. But, <laughs> yeah, that's um, a bad bash. Yeah. Um, so Raider, Orochi, and now Kyoshin, I can't confirm the last one. Um, Nabushi. Uh, those three have the same issue. Nabushi has a different form of sticky dodging, comparatively. Yeah. It's also affects rolls sometimes, and th those seem to be a little bit more inconsistent, um, with some DLC characters having different w w ways it does it. Essentially, just be aware sticky dodging can happen. It's quite hard to know when it's going to happen, um, but... And it is scheduled, luckily, scheduled to be fixed. So yep. next season, they are scheduled to be fixed, which is quite exciting. Um, so, But until then, that is something to bear in mind. So next bug, which is relevant. Um, hello. Um, so I guess uh, Nutella can demonstrate something. It's not a huge um, 
a hugely important bug, but if you n use your tier 1 feet, Natal, on me, um, and then use your tier 1 feet again, even though it's on cooldown, don't, don't kill them. As you can see, now you, your screen has gone black around the edges. Yeah, got the vigor now. Yeah. So if you use a feat that's on cooldown, an active feat that's on cooldown, you will have a black border around your... Dem... <laughs> Dem, Dem is bloodthirsty today. That's what causes that? Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, using... It will go away if you use another active feat. So now, well, when Nutella is healed up enough to use his, his active feat again, he will be right. able to um, so that dispel the yeah, the um. Uh, is that related to the muffled noise bug? Like everything sounds like it's a little muffled for some. Uh, the muffled noise is just a clipping issue on some places. So yeah, some places some marked as outside and some are marked as inside. So it happens uh, right over in Blue Dome right there, from the uh, platform and the inside. Because when you're inside, it has this echo effect, and that's when you get the Go muffled. If you have it's, it's not, it's not hugely like, important, yeah. but um, uh, yeah, in it's terms distracting. Of, like, uh, it's distracting, yeah. And then, like, with with the case with any bugs, are gonna uh, potentially have the the chance to to make you um, be confused by, well, they're confusing. Um, so, if you don't, oh god, <laughs> I was trying to attack a wall then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> My character decided to walk over the ledge and kill myself. But Great. The sound bug would happen right in this spot where you basically have your camera clipping between the two areas. It also was in Sentinel, but they relax it out. And yet, Veloy, okay. um, they're all known. They're going to be fixed next patch. In regards it's to not a bug that like, is in a certain zone, though. Like, entire games I've had stuck muffled. Um, That's just a bug that should be fixed. Or should have been yeah. fixed. Pain. Okay, uh, so, so I have you had a chance to talk about the GB on variable bashes, like, um, where um, I think it's level three, it causes both players to stagger, like uh, they try to mutual. Yeah, game. so it's a timing thing. Basically, if your opponent guard breaks at exactly the same frame as your bash will land, you will, um, your bash can bounce off a GB. Yeah, so that's that's a weird one. Actually, there's another bug. Um, I'm not sure if we can we can work out a time. It, it, again, it can be done with any bash. It's just it's it has to land on exactly the same frame, so it's quite hard to time one to be to for that to be done perfectly. I don't I'm not sure if we have uh, a bash which we can both do that with. It would need to be. I mean, I'd have to do some maths to work out uh, when you're in hit stun, so you can. Um, just mash GB and get up. Yeah, I mean it'll be hard to time it perfectly, so let's not bother with that. But you can show another bug that moment. Um, uh, Jay Corella, if you hit Nutella with a heavy finisher, and then Nutella light attacks and you light attack afterwards. All right, that's the wrong place. Yeah. Just a raw, not charged. Uh, yeah, just a raw one. I think you actually hit me. So do a top. Okay. Oh, okay. No, no, either way is fine. As long as Jay Corella, you like you like attack. We're trying to look at the frame advantage of the finisher. Well, you can do it on me if you want to, but then you want me to you want to light after the heavy finisher. Yeah, after yeah. you land the heavy finisher, you get frame advantage, right? Oh, no, just bad. mash light after you land your heavy. Yeah, just mash light into heavy and then mash light. Uh, light heavy and then mash and uh, mash light. So you see, your light attack hits me first, right? Yeah. Now, this does not happen on Shigoki's charged heavy openers. So if you hit Nutella with a fully charged heavy opener and then press light attack immediately afterwards, and Nutella does the same thing, Nutella's light attack will hit you first. Because yeah, it's yeah. an opener, not a finisher. Well, it, it does actually say in his moveset that it's a charged heavy finisher because it ends his chain. So this is a kind of a weird Goki bug again that... In theory, that should have um, that should be frame advantage on on hit. It's not something again to notice to to pay attention to because we talked about how frame advantage is very important on. Wait, what do you just die from? Javelin. Oh. <laughs> um. Just trying to flip the javelin. Yeah, I just thought he just like just died. Um. 
that is something to be aware of. We talk about how important frame advantage is to know when you have it and when you when you've lost it. And Goki's charge heavy openers don't have frame advantage on them, even though they are technically a heavy finisher. So something to keep in mind if you're playing Goki. Let's scroll down the list of bugs. Um Okay, let's switch up some characters in that case. Because a lot of these involve different characters. Just gonna screenshot you killed. Can't believe it. <laughs> Doesn't it, it, that, sometimes it happens, but I mean I think it's all just it's just Photoshop, isn't it? <laughs> Post it on YouTube, all right. get a free thousand views. So can one of you go um Nutella, you can go actually do you is there a character that has a back step light a back step attack and a def and a deflect yeah or... i guess Berserk i don't would... think so. i can't uh, deflect back step or... bash what i yeah, know okay. oh, i'll just go um in that case i'll uh, you go until you go um <laughs> You go Black Prior again, fuck it. Wait, no, don't go Black Prior. Sorry, you go... Um, Black go Black Prior, if she has them. If you want. Yeah, but I, need, I want you to have a deflect, so... Um, yeah. pick, pick whoever you want who has a deflect. I will go... Uh, uh, Jormungandr? Or... Zark? I'll go Jormungandr, because... Um, I'll why go not? Um, Thomas. Then, if one of you guys on um, Defenders team, if you go uh, Zhanhu and take your unique tier 2 feat. And wow. then, actually, I will... Uh, no, I'm going this one. And the other one of you can go um, Shaolin. And then right, third of you go... Third one go Warlord. Oh, we already have someone locked in as the Warlord yeah. then. One Warlord, okay, so one, one Shaolin. Of you, one Warlord, one Shaolin. Um, oh shit! I had I'm JJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. Um, we'll just do the Shaolin one later. It's not super important. Um, I mean, I was only going to show that Shaolin's Sun Kick Sweep can be revenge parried. The sweeping attack can be revenge parried, <laughs> even though. Even though it's a bash. So, I mean, I can just say that one. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, nobody uses Sun Kick Sweep. We should. Yeah, no, already. it's just another reason not to use that attack. It's. Um, the worst move in the game. Very unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it's literally the worst move in the game. I, I actually can't think of a, a worse, worse move in the game. You give up confirmed damage for something someone can dodge pretty free on it. Yeah. And they can get revenge carried. Yeah. You know, there's this buzz where you have access to a bash after some kid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to play GT. It's fine. It, 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 we don't need... Um, no. It won't be too difficult. Oh, there's there's a couple of other bugs we can we can talk about with. I mean, there's one noticeable with... bug that's been in this game since Warmonger season. Uh, free aim throwables go to... You see that black pip? Um... On the top grass, they go there or thing into the center. That's weird. Yep, that is a good a good bug to do. Yeah, if you're free aiming, uh, your projectiles aim down slightly because yeah. it will go up slightly. The little um, black notch is what you should use. All right. So the first one I'm going to show now, if Nutella can look at me, um, is you cannot backstep use your backstep attacks with your back to walls. In some scenarios, well, well, I'm just not showing doing a very, very good job of this. There we go. All right, if you got a back to a wall, I'm I'm doing my back step attack, the bash here, but sometimes it won't play. Sometimes, sometimes it will just not work. Um, there we go. As an example, if you are, and this particularly is a problem if you're using controller. If you're basic, if you're walking into something. Basically, the, the whether whether you do like a directional input attack depends on your character actually moving in that direction. So um, it's it's always a 
a bit difficult with, with lock on. If maybe somebody, the JJ can stand on this helmet here, so I've got somebody consistent to lock onto. Um, there we go. Another guard break. So that is because my character is not moving backwards because I'm already at the wall. This can really fuck you over if you are trying to use one of these. So, um, Jake Rally, come right up to me at the ledge, just like get really close into me. Um, and I will try and bash you. And okay, well, apparently, I actually did it this time. Well, we'll see. Um, sometimes it. There we go. And if you counter that bash. Um, you would have died, yeah. I'd have be been dead. Um, and I'm trying to bash you here, but instead I am going to guard break and kill myself. So this... Oh, sorry. You're fine. Um, this happens with any directional attack, but it also happens with dodges. So, um, Natalia, you can show this off quite well, actually. If you and Dem line up al alongside a wall and... Or yeah, actually anybody really, and then Dem, you do a four dodge bash. And Nutella, you try and do a dodge attack. Um, I mean, he can do a zone. And we can show the deflect frames of way more. Yeah, I'm gonna show that in a second. But I wanted to keep. Um, so if you then do a uh, a dodge attack into the wall, you will do a forward dodge attack rather than a side dodge attack. Oh, actually, you're using you're using mouse and keyboard, aren't you? So it's, this is one of these, another one of these weird ones that is actually different with mouse and keyboard versus with controller. So um, I guess it's not the best demonstration. Uh, are you using Rico, you use controller or mouse and keyboard? It's controller, yeah. All right. In that case, uh, you can tell you can watch me and Rico do it. Um, you just try and side dodge heavy into the wall um, when I bash. I'll like faint in the block or bash. That's doing it. Oh. Well. <laughs> um, you try and come up close to the barrel so you can't move, move that way. Oh, or even just it's inconsistent, right but it happens enough to be a bug. Yeah. So basically, especially if you're using controller and you're holding a move direction, sometimes you will find yourself doing a forward dodge attack because that's the only way that your character can move, and you won't be doing a side dodge attack. So it's a it's a bit weird. It can happen sometimes, and like I mentioned, it is much more consistent with controller. It happens much more often with controller versus mouse and keyboard. So um, somebody can go and stand again on this helmet. For me, so I've got somewhere to lock onto. Um, this is my like we've shown. There we go. First try and getting the guard break instead of doing bash. But if I use mouse and I'll switch mouse and keyboard and then press S and guard break. It will do it literally every time. So I don't know why this is the difference between mouse and keyboard and controller, but this is one of the actual like distinct benefits of mouse and keyboard over controller, is that you will not fall prey to these like weird inputs that you, that they think you're moving away, but you aren't. Um, you will always just do the attack that it's meant to do. I, I don't know why this is the case. Maybe because well. I've got a theory. A theory is that when you're holding backwards on the controller, you're never quite perfectly backwards. You're going to be slightly moving sideways and slightly moving. You're never going to be perfect, like exactly 180 degrees backwards. Whereas if you're pressing S on the keyboard and you're only pressing S, it's always backwards. Um, even if your character's move is moving sideways, the input is always like exactly backwards. Whereas with a controller, it's different. So that's a bug that can be triggered um, with controllers. Um, Dem, uh, Natalia mentioned iframe removal in walls. And actually, I guess this is, other than the revenge bug, this is probably actually the most important bug in the game. There's also um, one more important bug that I think we've missed. It's uh, dodging, a dodge converting into roll by sprinting versus by unlocking. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a really good one. Um, we'll, yeah. cover, we'll cover that one next in that case. Okay. Um, so... You probably heard about iframe removals. If you dodge into a wall, your dodges lose their iframes. So you can demonstrate this really easily okay. with Did deflects. Um, so if Dem throws an attack for Natalia to deflect, 
on yeah that side um is that a deflect or is it just i'm deflecting yeah, yeah. That's what deflect. yeah okay it just, it just sounds weird it doesn't sound like a deflect from here i don't get so my GP he's, here. he's deflecting it really easily if you do it on the other side um the deflect window is much smaller well, I'm actually okay. heading to the flag. Yeah, nice one. Nutella being, again, too skillful for uh, for the demonstration to work. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, when you dodge into walls, you lose your iframes, and that will mean that you... Um, you can deflect more consistently. Um, but it also means that if you're trying to dodge a bash and you dodge into a wall, you're going to get hit by that bash. Um, and the same thing happens... If I come and stand here and block Nutella's dodges, dodge frame instead. Um, so you can do an attack into yeah, the other side. Everyone attack. pile up. And... Yeah. These are the easiest deflects. I can dodge super early. Yeah. And this is because I am blocking Nutella from his iframe's work. And now if Dem decides to, instead of use a blockable attack, go for a bash on Nutella. Nutella will just be unable, completely unable, to avoid this bash. Like, you can't dodge it. No iframes. You're, you're dodging into a wall. Your iframes are gone. And this also happens with minions. It happens with allies. It happens with enemies. We can call this body block ganking. If, if um, Jake Corella was to take over and body block in Nutella, um, this is a gank. Lock Dem can just bash Jake Nutella. Rilla. Yeah, you need to lock on because otherwise you don't have the... Yeah, when you uh, lock on, you get a fatter hitbox. Like, this is what we call a body block gank. Nutella, Dem can bash Nutella to death, and there's nothing Nutella can do. I mean, event, Nutella has frame advantage, I guess, so you can... You, I mean, yeah, but yeah, you not can much lose, I can do you, with two people around. No, you can, you can light attack Dem out of it, but that's about the only thing. And if you're a character you who has, like, JJ light attacks, you're not light attacking towards the wall, so you only have one direction to light attack. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A bit risky. The same thing also applies to staircases. So if you want to come over here to this handily, handy staircase, which I provide, which I um, which I prepared earlier. Um, and if actually Berserker's got really quite long side dodges, so maybe I'll I'll try doing the the dodging yeah. instead. But um, if Dem comes horizontally to me on the staircase, and I just dodge up and down the staircase. Um, so if you like, we're next to each other, right? This this will do now. Basically, you forward dodge bash me, and I try and side dodge it, bash it. That did manage to work. Well, maybe not the best demonstrations. On again, it depends if you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Yorm's got Yorm's got quite long side dodge. There we go. That one. That was a dodge on the right timing, but I'm still getting caught by the bash. Basically, anything that shortens your dodge, including dodging on up staircases. I can try back dodging actually, that that might work, because back dodges are quite short. Oh, well there you go. Maybe not maybe not the best staircase. <laughs> anyway, staircases can also remove your yeah, iframes. Staircases inconsistently so. remove your iframes, walls do it pretty damn consistently. Just don't fight on stairs. Yeah. Or slopes. And yeah. don't try, try not to get corners. Yeah, try not to get caught in corners because it could be really, really bad if you do. Um something that you can do though. Uh, JJ, if you want to go sit in a corner for me. Um, Hidden stance and Sifu. Hidden stance and Sifu stance. These have iframes that will not be removed by d bashes. So if I try and bash you and use Sifu stance it, doesn't matter how much in a corner you are, you can always use your iframes of moves that have iframes. As long as you time them correctly, you will not lose your iframes. So, for example, you can also side dodge, although I think you'll hit the wall here. Yeah, if you, you can if you side try. dodge over. Just, I dodge heavy? Yeah, yeah just okay. I dodge heavy. Because JJ's heavies have... Uh, dodge to the left into the flower. Because you can always dodge, because JJ has iframes on his dodges. Like, yeah, dodge heavies. Need to be earlier, though. Yeah. As in, side dodge heavy. No, I don't yeah. Yeah, I do, I'll faint my bash so you can... Uh, he's gonna... Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit later than that now. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's what you get for not being demonstrating with. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. But, but yeah, some dungeon right. tags have it's the first week. Um, and some don't. It's yeah. inconsistent as hell, very hard to check. Um, JJ and Tiandi heavy uh, dodge tags have of iframes. Yeah. Some Just, don't. One of the, yeah. So one thing they changed recently for Gladiator is they gave his dodge tags proper iframes yep. instead of um, positional based iframes. So you now can dodge into walls and avoid things with Gladiator's dodge attacks. Same with Shigoki. Same with all the new dodge attacks. They're all get, getting it, yeah, iframes. They're, right they're giving proper iframes rather than sort yeah. of weird iframes. Um, okay, the next one is a little bit of a strange one. And it will require a bit of timing on your behalf. So, um, can you guys feed me revenge? Actually, actually no, feed, feed Nutella revenge instead. So don't feed me revenge. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Not regular attacks. <laughs> I'll, I'll, oh, that's right. Um, uh, running back. So I'll need this. I'll need to be separate from this so I can do the the countdown because this is one of these weird ones that depends on um, people uh, on like timing. The revenge will just not auto parry anything. Cool. It's the other way around. So give Nutella revenge. Um, all right, so now I want Natal to stand in the middle somewhere. Um, and then, Jake Corella, I want you st to stand behind Dem. Ah, yes. And then, Dem, I want you to full block. And then, Jake Corella, throw out like a side light attack, just to practice so you got the positioning right. Okay. And do that a few times. All right. And then, when I say three, two, one, you will both light attack, you will light attack, and Natal will pop revenge. So, on three, two, uh, on go, okay. Three, two, Dem's one, go. Hold on, hold on. All right, okay, wait. Dem, um, Dem get his banner back. Um, all right, I'll, I was trying, I was getting, like, to, all right, okay, now. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> what? what the hell? Yeah, so if you have an attack superior blocked. Revenge again? When you are locked onto an opponent, when they pop revenge, you will get knocked over. Okay, and can you feed? Keep it close, Fanny. Don't let me hold you up. But yeah. So if you have uh, an attack, if you get superior blocks, and it can be by an ally or a friend, as we've uh, an ally or an opponent, as we've seen here with with Dem. Again, if you want to do it again, it's a Dem full block. Three, two, one, go. You will get knocked over. So what happens is the revenge property, like, seems to take from the person you're locked onto. Um, so you have to be locked onto the person who's got who's popping revenge, and you can get superior blocked by anybody. Um, the reason JJ is particularly good for this is because of another inconsistency, which uh, which we'll con uh, cover quickly. Which is, and I think Jan Hugi is different. So, so we'll do the same position thing again. So Natalia, uh, Natal, you stand in the middle, um, and then well, as we've seen already, that JJ's heavies bounce, JJ's light attacks bounce off the superior block of of um, Warlord. So now, do you want to try um, Zhan Hu? You throw a light attack into into wards, and you can carry on chaining. Chain. So. so they go light into heavy or something. Yeah. But some characters can't. So yeah, this is something called off-target enhanced attacks. Well, that's what we call it at least. And some characters can chain even if they get superior blocked by an external opponent or an ally, and some can't. And there is no rhyme or reason to which ones can and which ones can't. JJ can't. Jan Hu can. Um, JJ and BP are two Black of the Pryor big. Black Prior can't. Centurion can. Debushi the... cannot. No, Debushi can, I think. It, uh, it's weird. Like, it's not It's not consistent. Warden can. Shigoki can't, but then his own attacks are enhanced normally. So check the info hub if Warlord you want to know your character. can't, but he has enhanced as well. Exactly. Warlord so it's. It, again, it depends. If your attacks are enhanced, they won't be block. They won't bounce off ally block regular normal ally blocks. But if they're non-enhanced, like uh, JJ's, you can get blocked by an ally's regular, like re regular or an enemy's regular guard, and you will bounce off. Yeah. So that is, I guess, it's not it's not a bug because this is intentional behavior, but it's really weird intentional behavior, and it's really inconsistent. Um, Yes, dodge roll. Thank you for running me. Okay, so the next thing 
uh, on the list, which is like, probably the most important. Uh, other than iframe removal and vent yeah. shield bug, this is probably the most important bug that we'll mention here. Um, basically, as you know, you can if you well if you unlock whilst you're dodging, you will convert into a roll. But this is different depending on the mana you use to unlock. You know, you can unlock with either just pressing the unlock button or by pressing sprint. And if you press sprint, you have 400 milliseconds to unlock roll. And if you press unlock, you have 200 milliseconds to unlock roll. So if you are trying to dodge something and convert it to roll, so for example, if, um, let's say, Dem, and tell you're dodging a light attack or a heavy attack from Dem. And if it's a heavy attack, you convert to a roll and roll away. Yeah. So, like, say Dem faints a heavy into a light or faints a heavy into a heavy. Oh. That's a bit awkward of the person, but yeah. Again. Oh. Hmm. So that was correct, and if you like, you well, I, think I can always just convert that or sprint, anyways. Yeah, but if you if you try without sprint, uh, like just the regular lock on button, as you can see, you just go out of lock. So if you are using unlock rolls, you always want to use the sprint to unlock because otherwise you will. Uh, you won't have as big a window to unlock roll. So that is... I didn't even know that existed. I had that option off. Yeah, now. so... Yeah. Uh, you want to always sprint to... You always want to have it on. Um, I, I had it on thanks to Barak. <laughs> yes. Well, good work watching Barak videos. He also has excellent educational content. Um, I think we probably have time for a couple more bugs. Um, was one this is a... One? Uh, this, this, oh yeah, the Jianhu one, yes. So, um, actually, Intel, Intel. Probably, yeah, I'll need, Intel will have to demonstrate this one, and you'll need help as well. Um, I'm pretty sure you can you still do this. Donate. I know you can't do it on your own one anymore yep. because Zanu can't can superior them. block his own stuff. Uh, no, well, no. allies can't do it to their own stuff anymore, but enemies yeah. can still. The bugs okay, there so, is yeah. So, um, what we'll do here is Rico, you stand. Like, Nutella will stand in front of you. Rico, you throw your tier 2 feet at Nutella, like, fairly close range, but not close enough that you'll get hit by it. Um, and then, yeah, let's see if we can get it to work. No, that's too fucking lame. <laughs> that's right, we have to wait for it to come back. I've put feet cooldown on fast, I think, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, Don't throw shit at me any health. <laughs> no, I'm throwing it in the background just to see if the yeah, feet cooldown's on fast. It should be. Yeah, All right. Um, essentially, you can deflect or superior block Janhu's um, block uh, Janhu's fire flask, like fire trap feet. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. So you'll still take the damage from it because the fire damage goes through it anyway. Um, but you can, yeah, you can grab, you can deflect. Deflect it. You can superior block it. You can bulwark counter it. Um, pretty much any. I think you can even parry it, but you have to parry in another attack first. Yes. So it's a pretty weird. You're not going to be parry it on its own, but a lot of. Uh, basically, you can defend against Jan Hu's yeah. um, unblockable. Uh, Jan Hu's feet quite easily. Um, next thing we'll do. I think. Okay, so the next one. This is again a pretty weird one. If you guys can follow me down to this round thing here. Um, uh, can Black Prior flip uh, Janu's thing? Yes, he can. Alright, whack. Alright, so um, one person stand in the middle of that compass point for me, and I want you to uh, not Nutella, anybody other than Nutella can stand there. Alright. Uh, now Nutella can lock on to the Janu standing, the JJ even, and go close to him. Uh, walk around him in a circle to, the, to your right. As you can see, you, if you're walking around the opponent, you will stay at about the same distance from them. If you're walking right. Now, Nutella, walk left. <laughs> you uncoil <laughs> and go backwards. Yeah. So, this trick is particularly relevant for Shinobi. Um, but it's relevant for pretty much any character who has a fast sidewalk speed. If you walk left, you will gain extra space from your opponent. It's a weird one. Uh, it also applies to dodges. So if you, because dodges have like a certain extra amount of movement. Um, 
it's hard to see most of the time because most of the time people are walking around and moving relative to, to one another. But essentially, if you're trying to dodge away from somebody, so dodge stop. back, do, move left and dodge left. Um, if you side dodge left, you're more likely to be out of range of guard breaks and bashes, even if you mistime them because of that extra backwards movement. And that's if you have a, a long range side dodge, like um, Berserker does have quite a good one, or um, same as uh, Raider in particular has a very good one. Gladiator, another good character for this. And Shinobi is the best because he's got double t double side dodges. You can make a huge amount of space between you and your opponent just by dodging left. I mean, I'm not sure. Does, if... does that affect the tracking of Cezanne, who's dodge attacks, if you continuously do it on the left? Yes, it does. So you'll notice, if, again, if you're playing Shinobi, you'll notice that your kick... Um, it, it depends because obviously tracking attacks will move you forwards if they if they range if they're in range. But if you do a double double side dodge kick with Shinobi, you're quite likely to miss from the left side because of how far backwards you move. Um, so that's a pretty weird one. Um, and I think that's really all. I mean, I, I, other than, unless we change characters again, which I don't think we're going to be bothered because it's quite late now. Um, oh no, we're not Tiandi. I was going to say, I was like, oh, there's another one. Um, uh, but no, that's not it. No. Uh, 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 we could we could do some really weird ones if you want to do another lobby. Um, what do you guys? How are you guys feeling? Do you want dinner? Do you want to tr show off a few more a few more weird bugs, or do you want to call it? I'm fine either way. Just be quick about the choice. Um... All right. Well, nobody seemed to say that they objected so we'll do we'll do one more lobby of bugs in that case just, just be quick ones these ones okay so one person can go aramusha i'll go tiandi um somebody else can go lawbringer i'll go hey. lawbringer no hand it over <laughs> 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 two lawbringer mains just fucking fighting over it and um somebody can go nusha and oh, okay. oh, how do we forget that one? Of course. Um, mm -hmm. Dem uh, Nutella, do you have a paired emote on? Uh, can I back up? I will put it on. Okay. I do have paired uh, emotes. I've all. All right. So you you put that wait, on. Does, um... does the gladiator still work with the paired emote? Where you zone into the skewer, you can let your teammate. Yes. Uh, that is what we are going to demonstrate. I'll go to Andy again. So. God, it's me... so terrible, Hoi. <laughs> Zooms down the size, but yeah, it's it's on. Um, All right. You can also do it with JJ. <laughs> yes. So, um, maybe you want to go JJ in that case. Um, I do not have anyone on JJ though. So don't, don't worry about it in that case. Up. It's it's fine. We'll, it's the, fine. This we'll, is actually we'll, practical. The JJ one, not so much. Yeah, the JJ one is just funny. Um, All right. So yeah, I think that's we've we've got a law one lawbringer one Nusha. One Aramusha, one Tiandi, and one Goki with paired emote. And I will just. Oh yeah, you know Corella, I should. you can go Lawbring if you want. To <laughs> um, I actually forgot there was a, there was another another. Um, oh, that's fine. Another Yormungandu one that I'd forgotten about, but doesn't matter. I'll go Tiandi instead this time because. Uh, just fun. also an extra note. It's not really a bug, but um, reason why. Two limbers can't be dodged is because any damage over time will apply regardless of iframes. But on the same note, that means you can dodge a fire flask while it blows up, ignore the 40 impact damage, but only take the 40 <laughs> fire. The while in the middle of it. Dem got the uh, pick glitch and it just pointed Oh, out. yeah. Here. I guess that's another bug sometimes. Sometimes you get. You yeah, custom pick a character expensive. and in, it will just go to a different character. It's particularly happens with custom games. Don't know why. Um, game is programmed but, yeah. very well. Yes, it happens. Um, task failed successfully, indeed. All right, so these are some pretty strange ones. Um, we'll go. We'll start off with the Lawbringer one. Um, and also, the funny fact that we could do the hug. Oh yeah, there's another. Actually, I rem remembered literally remembered another Tiandi bug as we started this, so <laughs> I can they can do that one too. Great. Um... I think the ocean's faster than Lawbringer. 
Kyushin's Kyushin like, is... Kyushin's he's really got, fast. Fast. Ma got maximum uh, run speed. Okay, so first one, Jay Corella, land a long arm on Nutella. And then try and block the full up. Throw your heavy and then... Oh yeah. You basically throw a heavy after your long arm and the teller can light attack you and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, that's, I, I didn't um, think that was a bug. I just thought that was... No, that happened one day. They changed it, it just, around. It just became it became unblockable. So yeah, uh, Lawbringers, you trade. It's always going to be a 12 damage trade, essentially. You're actually better off just doing a side light because that's 12 damage and it's safe. So, I mean, it can't execute, but... Alright, that's the Lawbringer bug. Um, next one. Legos. Nutella. Oh, no. Oh, not, no Legos, please. Um, I was going to say... Gonna Nutella's the one streaming, so I need, the one, uh, need Nutella to be able to... Um... <laughs> nice. Nice, one, nice legging there. Um, Just explain bug. While we're waiting. Okay, so this one is a weird Nusha one. Um, Nusha, you're going to put yourself out of stamina, and then you're going to guard break Nutella, and then you're going to throw a top heavy. Um, and you won't see anything different, but Nutella will, and so will our viewers on Twitch. So you need to guard break him first, and then right, throw a post. Yeah. So out of stamina. Time for comedy. Then guard break, and then top heavy. Can anybody else it? Do you can do it again? Uh, peak stream for the others in game. It's... Yeah, when I can see it as an as an ally, uh, like. Basically, Wait, I'm getting up the stream. I need to see this. You have no animation on your out of stamina top heavy if you throw it from a guard break. So, yeah, weird. Thank you. Um, very cool. Very strange. All right. So the next one, this one, I'm going to do on Jay Corella. There's two Tiandi bugs. Um, again, they require. Uh, you just block my zone directly. I'll put myself out of stamina that way. Okay, so oh, oh yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, that's fine. Block my side light. Oh. Essentially, yeah. side lights are slow out of stamina for some, some reason. reason. Um, they're, they're normally 500 ms, but Tiandi's side lights out of stamina are 600 are even slower. I think they're 800 ms, so you can't get them off a guard break. Uh -huh. Um. 900 even, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, you can get the top. Top's 800 MS, sides okay. are 900. Yeah. When you're out of so, stamina, the usual rule of thumb is plus 300 MS onto your move. Yes, thank you. Sorry, yep. yeah, thanks for the game number's great. Um, mm. It's getting late for me as well. So, so that's, yep, Tiandi, if you get out of stamina guard break, top light. Don't use a side light. Um, the reason I wanted to bring Aramusha in as well is because Aramusha has the opposite of that. You can't get a top light off an out of stamina guard break, only a side light. Um, I think Again, that's because Aramushi used to have slower side lights. I, don't know I think the same is true for Warden, which or was true for Warden for a while. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is a Tandy bug, um, which I have reported multiple times, and multiple times it's been told that it's intended, but I don't believe them. So I'm going to throw a zone attack, and you're going to dodge and guard break, um, Rico. So I'll, I, if you want a warning, I can faint and then zone attack. Um, you need to dodge later. The yeah. faint is just to let you know what's going. You can GB the zone throughout you the entire You can GB my zone throughout the entire... Oh, wow. You can deflect my zone, even. <laughs> but yeah, the... The whole zone is GB. Oh, off. yeah. Even the right end, then. I, I right up to the end. end. Literally right. until the moment it hits you. In fact, you can actually, if you time it perfectly, you can trade your guard break with the zone. And you can get hit by it. And you'll oh. still get the guard break. Yeah. Um, the only way I can avoid that is if I faint myself, or faint the zone myself. Oh man, I, it's a lot of inputs for me to. Oh, I don't know. That's done. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll try one more time. Um, if I faint it, or if I faint to a kick, it will stuff the. Gym. That'll work too. I'm bad. Uh, it's okay. Um, so yeah, that's the TND one. Uh, the next bug, I guess, is the funniest one, and we'll say we we'll say the funniest one for last. Um, you want to do? Right now. Uh, how do I? 
You lost. I haven't been um, able to do it with Lawbringer. Uh, I think I need everyone to clear off so I can just lock. Yeah, into you guys you. need to get out of the way so he can lock onto me. Um, okay. Uh, okay. I think you just uh, throw an attack, faint it. Uh, hold on. I can just go demons first, can I? Uh, I think you're the one who needs the emote. <laughs> what? I think so. No, can't fight in that from Octide away. I'm. Okay. There we go. There we go. How to hug allies and gain health for doing it. Yeah, so I can't do mine. I don't know. Yeah, it has to be done from an attack input, I think. Yeah. Which is why, if I do the same thing, um... Wait, wait, I want to set up yeah. my zone trap. Um, oh yeah, I, I can do that and I can do whatever you're doing. But you can't trap. Yeah, so if I... No, I'd have to stay locked. Alright, so this is what I want to do. Um... Hey, well, oh, you can't do a trap without a block. Um, wait, let me yeah. block. We're off. Oh, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next to it can trap teammates. Oh my god, I'm useless. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Oh, sorry, we can't come here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need to not um, be locked on. Yeah. Um, why is it just not doing uh, it? Lock on the unlock. That fixes that bug. <laughs> If the game ever forces you to emote spam, you can fix it. Fuck it now. <laughs> yeah. No, I was trying. This is, this is, I thought it'd be a really nice, easy thing to do. Come over here. Yeah, come over here. Let's try something. I think I should just oh. walk into it at this rate. You ready? Oh, yeah, at this point. Um, do, it, do it here. Do it here. Oh. That oh. actually work. <laughs> Almost. Can I do on ball you? You have to do it. I have to do it back. No, because you can't get garbage. Go, come over here, come over here. Oh, I don't know in that case. Maybe I'll, if I just bash yeah. you instead. We can do oh, this instead if you want to come and watch this one. <laughs> Alright, go on. Let's watch this one. Um. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, basically, I'm, I, what I failed to do, but I'm telling you correctly, and what you guys did over there. Paired emotes. Um allow you to target your allies, which can result in some pretty strange things. Um, yeah. So the the funniest one is JJ's um, parry counter. You can parry ally attacks, and then you can do his parry counter, but it will zoom and lock on to whoever's closest in the map, which can cause you to sort of fly off in hilarious directions. Um, and yeah, I think that's a good bug to end on. I hopefully, hopefully you've you'll have all learned a few few things, maybe one or two things from these uh, weird bugs to be aware of. And some of them, yeah, are less weird and more important to know about, um, especially when it comes to move set things like law, like Lawbringer's attack being unsafe on 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 hit and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for joining. Thanks, Nutella, for streaming, coming to my rescue and, and streaming at a decent quality instead of, like, the trash garbage that I was doing. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining, and, and thanks, Jay Corella, Rico, and Dem for helping demonstrate, and everybody watching in chat and everything else. Big thanks to everybody, um, and I think that's it for me because it's quite late, and we've been talking for a while. So, again, yeah, thanks again for watching. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Thank you, lads.